Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. On a Maestro sensor, there are four connections. The bare wire and the green wire are your ground connections. There is one blue wire, and there are two black wires which are interchangeable, one being the common and one being a traveler. On a Maestro accessory switch, there are four connections. The green wire is your ground wire, the black screw is your common screw, and then there are two traveler screws, one being brass and one being blue. With the power off at the breaker, remove the existing switch from the wall. Before disconnecting your old device, look at the screw colors on the side of the switches. In both locations, take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the black screw. Knowing which wire this is will be important when hooking up your new sensor. Take the ground wire off the existing switch and connect it to both the green wire and the bare wire on the sensor. Please note, a ground connection will be required for the sensor to operate. Remove the tagged wire from the switch and connect it to either one of the black wires on the sensor. Remove the other two wires from the switch and connect them to the remaining two wires on the sensor, one to the black and one to the blue. In this example, we are choosing to connect the red wire to the blue wire. You can now place the sensor in the wall and install the wall plate. We will now move to the other three-way location. With the power off at the breaker, remove the existing switch from the wall.
Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the black screw. Take the ground wire off the existing switch and connect it to the green ground wire on the accessory switch. Remove the tagged wire from the black screw of the existing switch and place it on the brass screw of the accessory switch. Leave the communication traveler attached to the existing switch and remove the other wire. Remember that in our example, we chose to use a red traveler on the blue communication wire of the sensor. Take the wire you just removed from the existing switch and install it on the black screw terminal of the Maestro accessory switch. Remove the communication traveler from the brass screw of the existing switch and place it on the blue screw of the accessory switch. Place the accessory switch in the wall and install the wall plate as shown. With the power still off at the breaker, remove the existing switch from the four-way location. Remove the ground wire from the existing switch. Then connect the green wire of the accessory switch to the ground using a wire connector. In four-way locations, two wires will connect to the blue screw of the accessory device. In our example, we will be connecting the two red travelers to the blue communication terminal. Leave the red travelers attached and remove the remaining two wires from the existing switch. Connect one wire to the black screw terminal on the accessory switch. and place the other wire on the brass screw of the accessory switch. We will now remove the red traveler wires from the existing switch and connect them to the blue terminal on the accessory switch. We will place the first red traveler directly onto the blue screw. For the second red traveler, we will utilize the push-in connection for the blue terminal. Place the switch in the wall and install the wall plate as shown.
After turning the power back on, make sure that everything works correctly. You should be able to turn the lights on and off from any of the locations.